Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, we are going to delete data from admin panel. So here you can see category name. So after this column, we are going to have another column called action and over here, we are going to have a delete button. And if you click the delete button, it will delete that specific data. So for it, let's go back to our code. So we will just directly go to the tier tag. Uh, here you can see tier tag in, and inside tier tag, we have the T stack. So here we are going to give another TH. And inside this stage, we are going to say here action. So let me just save this and here inside this tier tag, let me just mention another TD tag. We say here TD and for this TD, we are going to have an anchor tag. So we'll give the anchor tag here. Then inside this anchor tag, we are going to say delete. And for this anchor tag, we are going to mention a bootstrap class. So the bootstrap class name will be, let's say it will be BTN, BTN danger so if we now save it then if we just refresh over here there you can see we have the delete button so if you click the delete button we want the data to be deleted so let's go back to our code again and here in the href we'll give to second bracket then inside the second bracket we'll say url to first bracket to single correction we'll say cat underscore delete d -L -E -D, delete and in order to delete data we need to get the specific id so for it in order to get the id we need to give a comma here and here you can see using dollar data we are able to get the category title so using this dollar data we will also be able to get the category id so we'll say here dollar data this arrow sign id so let's save it and right now if we go back to our browser then refresh and if we now click on the delete button if we click on the delete button there you can see in the url we are able to get the id of a specific data so right now let's go back and here for this url we are going to write a route so let's go to our routes then web.php right now let me just copy this url route get so the route will be get so we paste it here and the route name was uh, this one cat underscore delete so we will say here for the route cat underscore delete and we will again give a slash then a second bracket here and in this second bracket we are going to set the id which we are just sending from here so we we'll cache the id and uh, we will use the admin controller here we need to give a function name function name will be the same thing let's say cat underscore delete so let's go to our admin controller let me just go down then here we are going to say public function cat underscore i delete then to first bracket and here first of all we need to cache the id that we are sending from here so we say here dollar id then we'll give to second bracket after that in order to delete the data we'll just declare a variable first let's say dollar data equal to we'll mention that category model name category table model name so the category table model name is category we'll give to double clone then we'll say here find to first bracket it will be dollar id so this dollar id is this one so uh, we are getting the specific id and storing it in this dollar data variable and after that in order to delete the data we just need to say dollar data this arrow sign delete okay so then after deleting data we want the user stay on the same page so we say here return redirect to first bracket this arrow sign back okay so let's save it so let me just explain so whenever someone click on this delete button it will call this url with the specific id and our this url with the specific id will call the admin controller this function cat underscore delete and cat underscore delete function will get the id find the specific id in the category table delete that and after deleting the data it will keep the user on the same page so right now let's go back to our browser refresh here then uh, for example here you can see at the end we have a book over here so if we now click on the delete button 
the page reloaded and there you can see there is no book right now let's uh, delete this one so let's click delete and there you can see that is also deleted let me click again and there you can see so this is all for this tutorial in the next tutorial what we will do is that whenever someone click on the delete button it will show a confirmation message a pop-up that are you sure to delete this and if the admin click ok only there it will delete the data so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the future tutorials